at 11 o'clock on the She Album Hour, we will be playing the uh, entire album, Critical Mass. It's what's inside that counts. Uh, the rest of the world is about to discover uh, a hot rock and roll band that we've been enjoying down here in South Florida for a while. We'll give you a taste of that album right now. I'm going to dedicate this song to the memory of Ed Sullivan. Critical Mass, 1964 at 103 Sheet. <laughs> Do you think that can happen again down here? Yeah. Or would you want it to? <laughs> yeah. You mean like in a good way? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Do you think that ever can happen again? Or I hope not. This is a lot of it was pathetic. Back to the question of can we ever see the scene come back again? That's why we can, because all we need are some of the elements to be in place. Not right now, they aren't. Yeah. So if you ask me, can the scene come back this year or next year? No, it yeah. can't. My point is, what happened? Nothing happened. Nothing happened then. I lived down here. I was here. I was here in the 90s. More happened in the 90s era, because actually a lot of bands actually did make it. The, like uh, New Found Glory, Marilyn Manson, um, uh, Dashboard Confessional. From all our hearts to yours this New Year's Eve From Adrian and Chris and Jill and Shelly and Ty and Steve Twenty-something guys playing in a rock band in Miami in the early '80s, so there were a lot of drugs around: marijuana, coke, quaaludes, hallucinogens, etc. And society as a whole was a lot more accepting and a lot less repressive with regard to personal freedom than uh, than now. So there was rampant and excessive drug use in the band. Uh, perhaps rampant, but generally not excessive. Uh, for example, to my recollection, Randy was primarily a Marlboro and Budweiser man and didn't mess too much with other recreational drugs. That's right. The rest of us, uh, to a limited extent, took advantage of these exciting and wonderful times. In Greg's case, he took fuller advantage than the rest of us. So he moved from the rampant to the rampant and excessive I guess category. you could say that. The same uh, emotional spontaneity and wildness that he tapped as a wellhead of creativity when augmented chemically resulted in a loss of self-control and reliability. His self-destructive behavior eventually made it difficult to carry on the business of the band, which required a certain amount of order, discipline, and self-control. 